And greetings, this is Phil West. I welcome you to another Tomorrow's World webcast. You know, I grew up on a farm of sorts in Northeast Missouri. We always had animals running around. Dogs, horses, goats, chickens. We even had ferrets for a while, along with a pet raccoon we called Charlie. You know, one thing we learned in that environment is that animals are often unpredictable. Even domesticated animals can be quite unpredictable. But the unpredictable factor rises exponentially for wild animals. Recently, North Carolina's coastline has experienced an above average incidence of shark attacks on humans, with eight such attacks in less than a month. Thankfully, none of these attacks were fatal, but these types of attacks have been on the increase. Of course, we hear of other wild animal attacks that occur around the world. The Bible indicates that animals and humans were created to exist together in harmony. God blessed the first humans and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Man was given a degree of authority and dominion over all the other creatures God had created. The great lions and tigers in the jungle, as well as sharks and whales in the oceans, do not have dominion over human beings, but God said they were to be subject to man's rule. When God renewed His covenant with Noah and his sons after the great flood, He told them again, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be on every beast of the earth, on every bird of the air, on all that move on the earth and all the fish of the sea. They are given into your hand. That's in Genesis 9 verses 1 and 2. God did not create the animals for us to fear, but for them to be in fear of us. But God prophesied in Leviticus chapter 26 that one of the results of disobedience would involve wild beasts among humans. They would no longer be in fear of us, but turn on us. Starting in verse 21 of Leviticus chapter 26, God states, Then if you walk contrary to me and are not willing to obey me, I will bring on you seven times or sevenfold more plagues according to your sins. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children, destroy your livestock, and make you few in number. We have not yet seen any plagues like this of biblical proportions, but these types of attacks, as well as the other plagues mentioned in Leviticus chapter 26, are going to increase as our nations defy God and undermine Him and His laws. And a type of this plague is mentioned in 2 Kings chapter 17. Ancient Israel had been taken into Assyrian captivity, and the king of Assyria removed the Israelites from the cities of Samaria and transferred Babylonians and others in who did not fear God. The result for them is mentioned in verse 25. And it was so at the beginning of their dwelling there that they did not fear the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them, which killed some of them. Now God did not intend for wild animals to harm humans, but He does not rule out using them to get stubborn mankind's attention when they're living in rebellion against Him. One other facet of my childhood that has impacted me throughout my life is the amazing truth of what life will be like after the return of Jesus Christ. Everything's going to change. There'll be a thousand years of prosperity and happiness for all of mankind and even for animal kind, as we read in Isaiah chapter 11, starting in verse 6. It says, The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play by the cobra's hole, and the weaned child shall put his hand in the viper's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Yes, even the nature of wild animals will be changed. Now, we were always encouraged in my house to think about what it might be like to have a lion or a tiger as a pet, once their unpredictable nature has been changed, of course. Now, if you'd like to read more about the amazing changes coming after Christ's return, read our free booklet, The World Ahead, What Will It Be Like? I would encourage you to read it to your children. They'll be amazed and excited and filled with hope. 
for the very near future when Christ establishes His kingdom here on earth. Thanks for watching, and for more information, video, and material on biblical and news topics, please visit us on Twitter or Facebook or at tomorrowsworld.org.